What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome to this updated guide for installing and using a VC package in Visual Studio 2022. VC package lets you easily add and manage third-party packages and add them to your C++ programs really easily. It makes life a lot easier. You don't need to bother with CMake and advanced scripts and things like that. It manages all of this for you and more. Anyways, without too much explanation, this video is going to lightly touch on everything. If you'd like a more in-depth explanation, in the description down below, you'll find a link to my 2019 guide, talking about installing it for Visual Studio 2019, that will show you a ton more information. Anyways, assuming you already know what VC Package is, let's get ahead with installing it. In the description down below, you'll find a link to VC Package on Microsoft's GitHub. Simply look over here, and we'll click Code, then we'll copy this code over here. We'll be using Git to install and manage the software, as it's a lot easier to do so using Git, because you can update and things like that. You'll know that you have Git installed. If you hold Start, press R, type in CMD, hit Enter, and you can type in Git, and you see a response something like this. If you see no response, you'll need to download and install Git first. It's a pretty basic process. Head across to this link in the description down below. Download the installer for your computer, so Windows, install it, and restart command prompt. Then Git should work for you. So, we'll copy the download link for VC package, and we'll head across to a folder on our computer that we won't be deleting or moving anytime soon. For this, I'll place it temporarily on my desktop. I'll call it VC package. Do note that this file will get very big, very quick. We'll right-click in this folder, and we'll choose Open in Terminal, or if you're on Windows 10, shift right-click and open in PowerShell. There are a few other ways of getting him, but this is the way that I use. Just make sure you're in the correct folder. Then we'll be copying and pasting in the git command, which should be git clone as such, and I'll hit enter to start cloning VC package into this folder here. Now we'll type in cd space dot slash VC package, and we'll hit enter to get into this folder here. We'll now be running dot slash bootstrap, so I'll hit tab to automatically fill it in, bootstrap VC package dot bad. Simply hit enter and wait for it to download and prepare VC package on your computer. When it's done, we'll be typing in dot slash VC package integrate install as such. After doing so, this VC package installation will be linked with your existing installation of Visual Studio 2022. I have this installed in a different location for my actual coding work, so I won't be replacing it. I'll just use this as an example. This is what you'll see, something like this. You'll see a CMake command that will be copying and saving into a text file in the same folder, as this may become useful later. So I'll create a text document, CMake, and I'll save it in here. Note that even though you might not be using CMake quite just yet, it's useful to save this command so you don't have to find this hidden away path. Anyways, let's go ahead and start using it. So let's start with an example of downloading and building SQLite 3. I'll run dot slash VC package space search SQLite 3. We need to search for packages first, define what they're called, and then we can start installing them and using them. When you see the package that you're looking for, such as this one over here, for example, we can install it with dot slash VC package install followed by the name of the package, so SQLite 3. Upon hitting enter, it'll start downloading and building SQLite 3 or whatever project you searched for in the 32-bit variant by default. You can hit Control c at any moment to cancel this process, but I'll leave it going. There we go. Let's say you want the 64-bit install. I'll run dot slash VC package install SQLite 3 colon x64 hyphen windows to download and build the x64 variant for SQLite 3. This builds both the debug and the release builds, no matter what you type in here. There we go. Now it's built and installed on our computer and we can reference it within projects. If you'd like to build it with any extras, so if we search for it here, you'll see that we have some extras inside of brackets such as JSON, tool, geopoly, whatever that could be. If you'd like to install any of these extensions, simply add the brackets to whatever it is you're going to be installing. So say tool as such. Once you download and install projects from here, you'll find them in the VC package folder under installed followed by x64 windows or x86 windows. You can see I've got static builds over here. If you'd like to learn more about that, you'll find a link in the description down below. Inside of x64, for example, we have all of our files thrown together from all of the different projects. To see them separately, however, head back to VC package and open packages. Inside of here, you can see the packages you have downloaded and installed. And here's both of the SQLite packages I just installed right now. To upgrade packages, we can run dot slash VC package 
upgrade followed by the name of the package, so an SQLite 3. If an update is found, it'll say that an update's found. It won't actually do anything just yet. We'll need to add hyphen hyphen no hyphen dry hyphen run to this. Seems like a long command, but this is required to say, yes, I know I'm updating. Why is that? Well, simply because updating packages could break things. If you'd like to remove a package, you could run it dot slash VC package remove followed by the name of the package. So SQLite 3, for example. If you do this, it'll only remove the package and not what depends on it, so it could leave some things broken. If you'd like to remove this and any other packages that depend on it, you can add hyphen hyphen recurse to make sure it removes everything that depends on this as well as the package itself as well. Let's say that when you're installing things, you don't want to install the 32-bit package by default. There's a very simple way around this. Hit start, type in variables and open edit environment variables for your account system environment variables, or anything like that. You should then see a window like this. If you see this window instead, click environment variables at the very bottom. Inside of here, we'll make sure to click new and we'll be typing in VC package underscore default underscore triplet. You'll find this in the description down below. And in the variable value, we'll be filling in x64 hyphen windows and we'll hit OK. Upon doing this, we can head back to PowerShell, close out of it and restart it in the VC package folder. Then we can run dot slash VC package install SQLite 3. This time you'll see it says X64 is installed, which is the new default 64 bit. Let's say you want to move VC package because now it's taking up a ton of space. First of all, we'll run dot slash VC package integrate remove to unlink it from Visual Studio. Then we can move the entire VC package folder somewhere else, open it up in PowerShell once again, and VC package integrate install and it will be relinked with Visual Studio. Anyways, now that it's linked and linked to this folder here, let's fire Visual Studio and test it out. So creating a new C++ project, say a console app named anything, at the very top we can add include and inside of here SQLite and as you can see SQLite is popping up, it's installed in my VC package folder. So it's working exactly as you'd expect. However, for some older projects integration may not actually work or you'd like to only install this on a per project basis. We can do that as well. Assuming you've already run VC package integrate remove, we can now run dot slash VC package integrate project to generate a NuGet project that we can reference in projects we want to actually use this in. You'll find instructions here and a code that we'll be selecting and right clicking to copy. Inside of Visual Studio, head across to tools at the very top, NuGet Package Manager and open the NuGet Package Manager console. Inside of here, we'll be pasting it and hitting enter to install this VC package project. And now we can link our separate dependencies up here. SQLi3 and poof, there it is working exactly as you'd expect. Awesome. Let's say you really don't like VC package and you'd like to uninstall it. Well, simply run dot slash VC package integrate remove and after hitting enter, we can go ahead and delete the entire VC package folder as we won't be using it anymore. It's really that simple. I recommend keeping this project as it has saved me a ton of time and building hundreds and hundreds of dependencies has been made so much simpler. Anyways, if you'd like more information, once again, in the description down below, you'll find a video with tons more info on how this works and extra steps, as well as some troubleshooting videos linked there as well. Anyways, that's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.